association uh, with Jibma and France goes back you know, almost 200 years, uh, 1823, our earliest uh, recorded history of uh, Jibma, when it was uh, uh, called the medicine of Pondicherry. Uh, starting in uh, 1982, our head of the department of cardiology uh, and uh, um, Professor Bernard uh, Dodino, uh, he is from uh, France, um, offered to do a collaborative program uh, with uh, Jibmer for studying refurbished pacemakers. There was initially some skepticism in the medical circles about how can you implant refurbished pacemakers. They were all overcome and now we are looked at as a role model. Those hospitals were set up to the care for the needy and to, di to this date, I think Jibmer is carrying the tradition of uh, we serve the underserved. Our patients, 99.5% are poor, below poverty line. So we are India's ultimate safety net hospital. A few words in our visitor's book, so you can see some of the nurses. This is Dr. Patrick Henry, who comes from uh, um, the... Uh, Larry Poisier. Larry Poisier. Then there are people who came from... Uh, um, I see they come from all over the world, yeah, but from many from France. I mentioned, Dr. Negi, about your uh, uh, ongoing um, immunology of uh, rheumatic uh, the disease, and now your new area of immunopsychiatry. We managed to publish some six international uh, papers with that, so there was good output. So we then uh, had another collaboration with the uh, professor uh, Dominic Sharon and uh, Riyad Tamuza from which uh, started in 2000 December 2009 and uh, went on up to March 2012 this was also an ICMR, ICMR in some, in some projects, yes. so there you saw how it was done in the French labs and you worked with your French yes. partners to yes. decide fact, the best way yes I, I forgot to mention we have uh, uh, now the co PhD co-tutel program, ah. which has been going on from 2009. So in the process, since I was doing a lot of research between India and France, and um, so we thought, why don't we also register as a co-tutel PhD student? Uh, the lab setting, working environment, it was all totally different. I really had a very good international experience of working in a scientific setting, and that was in a very famous setting uh, like Peter Sanduri, which is famous for the Nobel laureate John Dalset and I was fortunate to work in his lab.